What is up, Sin and Daisies? Welcome back. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Carolina Sophia, and we are checking out some stand up comedy from Varun Tucker. I hope I said that as close to correct as possible. This one is called Why Astrology Sucks. And um, as someone who follows astrology fairly avidly, is well into this stuff, I feel personally attacked. And so. <laughs> I have to know what he has to say about this. I feel like we're gonna have fun with this one. Yeah, me, I do as well. <laughs> so you guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications and upvote this video. Also, uh, while you're doing subscribing and upvoting, why don't you go ahead and click on Varun Taco's original video. We have that in the description below. Go give his video a like and maybe subscribe to him if you're enjoying his content. Let's get into it. Oh, very like. How many people here fans of astrology, zodiac signs, horoscopes? Make some noise! Yeah, exit is there, please. Because <laughs> it's bullshit. It's pseudoscience. None of it is true. I know, it doesn't but work. No, shut right? up. There's no scientific evidence to prove it. It's bullshit. Right? Because here's how arrogant we are as human beings. We think that giant bodies of rock and gas floating in the vacuum of space care about us. <laughs> they don't. They don't. It's not like Mars and Venus are floating in the air saying, Varun ki You go a little bit I will him. Oh, no. We'll give such bad horoscope like that. It's not happening. It's not happening. Astrology is not a study of planets, stars and moons. It's just a accumulation of words telling you what you want to hear. Right? Not it's how always. can I say the same vague things in 12 different ways that it applies to anybody, anywhere, at any point of time. Right? It's called the Barnum effect. That is scientific. It's proven. Right? But just because you're a Virgo and you like traveling, that's not true. <laughs> I have friends, they go, you know what, I don't get along with Tina and Tanya, man. They are, they are very annoying and more importantly, they have scorpions. Okay? I love scorpions. scorpions. I'm like, no, you don't get along with Tina and Tanya, not because they are scorpions, because you're a b****. <laughs> <laughs> that is the real reason. If you read horoscopes, right, what do they do? What do they say? They say the same vague things, right? That you are an extroverted person. But sometimes you like to have quiet time. <laughs> yes, because I can't be like this 24 <laughs> 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 True. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Travel is indicated. <laughs> Surround yourself with trusted people. All excellent advice. <laughs> you will achieve a goal. Like I have friends who look at horoscopes, they're like, oh my God, this is so me. <laughs> this is so me. That if I, I were words, I would be this sentence. I'm personally attacked. I am that person. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes, that is me. That is me. I'm sorry. I Listen, I know it's probably bullshit, but I like it, okay? I don't know. I have a question for you. Okay, go I'm, ahead. I don't think you know my zodiac sign. No. Could you take a guess? No. Some people are very much epitome of their of their zodiac sign. Yeah. Like, I feel like I am from what I've been described, from what I've heard my sign is. I'm not going to say what it is. God. Mysterious. God. Um, I don't even know. Like, I wouldn't even be able to say if you were an earth sign or a fire sign at this point. But also, I, I don't feel like I know you as well outside of yeah. doing this stuff mm -hmm. to be able to, like judge yeah That's what i was gonna say is i don't not believe in it yeah I, but i don't avidly believe in it either i'm just like you can get real deep with it anyway we'll continue <laughs> it's so me i was reading the horoscope once again there was this line exact line it said remember to breathe <laughs> <laughs> or die <laughs> And then only when he reads the horoscopes, <sighs> I feel so much better. Horoscopes are true. <laughs> like all these horoscopes, right? Like, <laughs> they're like Ravi Shastri's commentary. That's what it is, huh. right? They asked Ravi Shastri in a match once, what do you think the result of this game is going to be? 
Uh, right? He's like, all three results are possible. <laughs> they can win, they can lose, it could be a tie. Oh! <laughs> Ravi, you genius! <laughs> It's very diplomatic, yeah. That's exactly what horoscopes are. Again, I had this ex-girlfriend, crazy about astrology. One day we got into a bad fight, bad fight. Next morning she wakes up, she looks at me, she's like, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're saying sorry to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how come, what happened? She's like, you know, my Mercury is in retrograde. That has... <laughs> and Neptune is now moving into Sagittarius and until Jupiter enters my 10th house, I'm going to be prone to anger, irritation and anxiety and that's why I lash out. So I'm just waiting for Jupiter to enter the 10th house. I was like, yes, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I cheated on her, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then she found out and she's like, how could you do that? How could you cheat on me? I'm like, baby, I didn't do anything. This Jupiter now. <laughs> Like Jupiter made me get out of my bed, pick up the phone, call your best friend and have sex with her. It's Jupiter's fault. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jupiter's like, what have I done? I am literally just gas. What have I done? That whole Mercury in retrograde thing, I feel like it's the most LA thing. How many times have you heard people say that ever since I feel like it's always in retrograde. Because I follow like astrology Instagram accounts and it literally is like, Oh, yay! Mercury's going direct now. And then, like, a, a few days later or a week later, it's like, ah, Mercury's in retrograde again. I'm like, so basically, Mercury's always in retrograde and we're always going to have issues communicating with each other yeah. and machines are going to break down. Cool. Excellent. But, like, people in LA, I feel, really take that stuff they very, They take it very, very seriously. seriously. Like, I wish someone lot. believed in me the way that LA people believe in astrology. Seriously. <laughs> It's like blindly following. Quote that, put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> it really is, anyway. Numerology. Oh God. Yeah, you guys know what numerology is, right? Yeah. Numerology is basically the spelling of your name totals to a certain number, and if that number is great, then you are successful. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. I'm a number five person. Are you a number four? Are you a number five? Are you a number three? The I'm fuck a does number that even one. mean? You know who latches onto this the most? Actors, right? Actors are insecure. That's They'll true. latch onto anything that they feel will help get them success, right? Because a lot of these actors think that the problem with their acting career is their name. Is the spelling of their name. Mm -hmm. I've never heard this. Bakis really? Or maybe it's less of a thing in the West, but in Asia, it's huge. I went to a temple once with my mom and she's like, oh my God, this temple is so good. All of the famous movie stars go there, blah, blah, blah. And so I had to like write my full name, blah, blah, blah. And then the, the monk looked at it and he goes, oh, it's no good. You have to change your name. And I was like, why? And he's like, this is not good. This is not auspicious. You're not, you, you won't be famous. And I said, um, well, actually, I've done my own numerology and my name is good. It's probably just the Thai spelling of it, which sucks. I use the English spelling of my name, so I think we're good. And then I showed him the English spelling and he was like, oh, you're good. It's fine. But like people do that, especially when you're like starting out in the industry and you're like, oh, I'm not getting the roles or whatever. They will go to an astrologist or a monk or something. Mm -hmm. And then they might say, oh, you just need an extra R in your name or like an extra A. And so so I've, I've heard of some people saying like when I've questioned like, why does this person spell their name like this? They're like, oh, they probably went to an astrologist and they told them like they needed to add this extra letter because sometimes you might start with your name spelt a certain way. And then as you get on in your career, it's like, where did that extra R or M or H or I or whatever come from? And it's like, oh, I need to go talk to someone. Yeah, maybe. You learn maybe something new to, every day. Maybe I need to start adding letters to my name. Carolina Sophia. There we go. Except go spelling me, I don't have problem with spelling. So a lot of them have changed the spelling of their name. Sunil Shetty is now Sunil Shetty. <laughs> <laughs> More flow. E I L Sunio. <laughs> Ritesh Deshmukh nowadays is just Ritesh. <laughs> Ajay Devgan dropped the A from his surname. Now yeah. he's Ajay Devgan. Yeah. Devgan. 
I wondered why it was spelled like that. Okay. It sounds like a sound you would make to scare somebody. Think about it. But you know which actor I don't understand? Tell it's me. It's Tushar Kapoor. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Because nowadays he goes by Tushar. Tushar. T U S S H A R. That jackass dropped Kapoor. <laughs> the only thing that was working <laughs> for him. So I think that joke is just about like because the name, the surname Kapoor, mm -hmm. they're a very famous acting family, show business family in India, mm -hmm. and so like why would you drop why that? Why would you drop that? Yeah. Yeah, because why? <laughs> that was fun. Did I feel personally attacked? Yes, I did. Uh, some of the time, but I am fully aware of the nonsensical nature of astrology. But I enjoy the shit out of it, so I'm not about to stop anytime soon. <laughs> I need to get more into this. I need to learn a little bit. Oh, dude, I got into human design. Okay. And, and uh, that's another rabbit hole. Okay. That I felt, I was like, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. But now I'm saying it out loud on the internet and I'm so, I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. <laughs> I know, I know, but like, whatever. If it doesn't hurt anyone and it's not hurting yourself, then fine. And mm -hmm. I'm not that person. Like when I first moved to LA, in fact, I was at a party at my friend's house with, with her neighbors. And uh, they were like, oh my God, you have to follow this woman on Twitter. She's an amazing astrologist. And I swear to you, everything she says comes true. If I'm having a bad whatever, whatever, and then I look at the, the her horoscope, like I'll look at her horoscope for the month and I will plan my schedule around that. I am not that crazy, you guys, okay? I'm not that person, but I do find it interesting and it's kind of fun and funny to look at horoscopes and, and see, for instance, Jabby is a Leo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a lot of like hanging out with him. I'm like, oh my God. That's such a Leo that's thing. That's such a Leo thing that you just did there. That's like, that's very, very, much a Leo. I'm a Taurus. I love to sleep and um, <laughs> that is such a Taurus thing. That is a very Taurus thing. Oh my god. It's not like we need to sleep to survive. What? Right? That's oh, crazy. MG. <laughs> I also love to eat. Not that we need to eat to survive but anyway yeah this was funny. I enjoyed him because he has a lot of like really great facial expression mm -hmm. as oh, well. He, yeah I, I kind of want to like hang out with him. Yeah. I feel like it would be funny to just have like dinner with him. He just seems like a really really fun guy yeah. and I feel like Everything that everything that he's saying is funny, but couple that with the the facial expressions and everything, <laughs> I'm like, you're killing me, dude. This is great. Very I good. Love this. Thank you for personally attacking me. Go ahead and roast me in the comments, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Carolina Sofia. Ciao.